Hi Taurus Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your Autumn Equinox, which is September 23rd, 2019, reading for you. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, this is your Spring Equinox reading. Okay, so let's see now, Taurus Sun Moon or Ascendant, what the Autumn Equinox, September 23rd, 2019, has in store for you. And again, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, just replace Autumn with Spring. Taurus. September 23rd, 2019, Autumn Equinox. Taurus, September 23rd, 2019, Autumn Equinox. Taurus, September 23rd, 2019, Autumn Equinox. Taurus, September 23rd, 2019, Autumn Equinox. Taurus. Show me clearly, 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 show me clearly. Fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the heart of everything is the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. You're crowned with the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Ten of Wands. You're completing a cycle right here. This is all about a completion of a cycle. The Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups. You are definitely taking a gift of love during this time. Ten of Swords. Once again, passion and mind are completing a cycle. The six of pentacles, balance, you need balance. And there you are, the knight of pentacles. Now, you're going to be dealing with a lot of people during this time. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then, of course, you have you shining through Taurus, but this can also be a Virgo or a Capricorn. So everybody... Oh, I'm sorry. My nose is just so itchy right now. Hold on one minute. Okay. Everybody is just shining through in your reading, which makes sense because we have here the Ten of Cups. Now, if you don't know a whole bunch of people and you you say, okay, Dane, I'm going to be spending this equinox alone, that's completely fine. What this is saying here is that blessings are coming into your home. You are going to be connecting with the energy of those around you a lot more. And that has to do with the sun being in Libra, but also with Jupiter being in, in Scorpio. And this is going to make justice, this is going to make big events much more impactful to you, okay, during this time. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's see your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Taurus, Equinox, September 23rd, 2019, which is what I should have done before. Taurus, Equinox, September 23rd, 2019. Transformation and dreams. Yeah. A dream journal would be something that's going to be highly beneficial to you. If you don't remember your dreams, know that they're just going to kind of pop up in your head and you're going to be thinking about them. Taurus Equinox, September 23rd, 2019. Taurus Equinox, September 23rd, 2019. Creativity. Oh, I love it. And manifestation. This is going to be a highly creative time for you. It is going to be a time not only where you have people around you, but you're going to be embracing kind of the best elements of each sign during, during this time period. The nights, when it comes to your prosperity, slowly and steadily moving forward, that's your energy during this time. The Knight of Swords, you're going to be embracing the sense of action, the sense of being the hero of your own story. The King of Cups, embracing love, being very steadfast, very firm within that, being the actor upon the stage during this time. People are going to see your heart and you yourself are going to be guided by your heart during during this equinox with creativity, with creativity. Well, yeah, it de definitely bleeds right into the queen of wands. Behind the scenes, you are going to be astoundingly passionate during this time. You are going to be drawn to the quality of things, the quality of your interactions. You are going to be very sensual during this, this equinox. So just be prepared for that. Yeah. Now with this equinox, the sun is in Libra quite well, of course. And this is all about balance and justice. It is going to be amplified by the Jupiter, by Jupiter being in Scorpio. This really brings out the, the power of Scorpio, but also the bigger picture of Jupiter. Jupiter has us looking at everything, has us looking at the grand scheme of things. And with Scorpio, you're going to see how the day-to-day -day life correlates into 
your greater goals, your greater schemes. So know here that this is going to be a great time for taking action. This is going to be a time where you feel much more balanced, much more focused. And I would highly recommend taking advantage of this equinox. For you, I see this equinox more as a time of action than a time of thought, meditation, or anything like that. This is going to be a time where you kind of break free from the Ten of Swords, which is very funny. I've been meditating a lot on, I've, I've been on a spiritual retreat and meditating a lot on what 2019 has been for me, especially because it has been such an intense year. And I see it as a completion of a cycle, but I see it as the Ten of Swords. It's a completion of a cycle that brings you the darkness before the dawn, that brings you everything that you have thought you wanted, but kind of skewed. And in this kind of backhanded way. And that's what I see with you. You're seeing this doubt, this fear, this apprehension. You are breaking free from it. You are entering into a beautiful dawn and it is going to be your passion from this equinox forward of how you're handling the end of 2019, but also how you're embracing 2020. Because I do see that you are you're done. You're shedding a cloak. You have completed a cycle and this is going to be a time of great of great transformation for you. So we start here with transformation, and this says, the process of self-transformation will open your eyes to timeless truths about yourself. This is you embracing timeless truths. This is you embracing what you need, what you desire, and where it is that you want to be. You're setting yourself free. You really are, because you're going back to an essence of you, to a root of you that you might have forgotten or you might have thought, oh my gosh, I have to be a different way in order to make it in this world. And now you're seeing that you need to embrace your essence in order to transform into the person that you truly want to be, in order to transform to the place that divinity really wants you to be. So you're kind of, you're going back to your roots, Taurus, and that's, that's really exciting. Then we have dreams. Dreams see the possible pathways of our future that act as a roadmap of our actions. Pay attention to your dreams. If you remember your dreams, a dream journal would be highly beneficial for you. If you don't remember your dreams, know that they're going to kind of crop up and you're going to be like, wow, where is that weird thought from? It's going to be from your dreams. You are going to see that your dreams really do guide you forward. Then we have creativity. Creativity is a natural part of you that can be ignited and developed. You are actually igniting and developing your creativity because you are ending a cycle. You are ending a cycle of doubt, of fear, of apprehension, of carrying a weight upon your shoulders that has defined you for so long. This equinox is about you finding the balance within yourself and embracing that balance. This is a balance of the masculine and feminine energy. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, this equinox signifies going into the winter months, into the fall and winter months. So you will be finding that you go into a more feminine time period where you are much more introspective, where you are looking at things and seeing the greater picture of where it is that you want to be. You're, you're creating something. You are, yeah, you're building a roadmap. It's almost as if you are in the womb during this time creating, cultivating, and developing. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, this equinox for you is going to be a time of masculine energy, of moving forward, of action, of creation, of power, and of you know intensity of the sun. I just see the sun being very impactful to you. You're going to either want to soak up its rays, or you're going to see that during the, during the day, you are going to be very active, very intense on things. Sorry about that glare. I don't know where exactly that came from. That was intense. The color that shines through here is blue, healing and cleansing your throat chakra, paying great attention, Taurus, to the words that you say and the power that you have within yourself. Then we have manifestation. This says, turn desire into reality by activating the power of manifestation. If you want it, you will have it. If you want it, you will obtain it. Know that your power leads you forward and that you embrace your truth about yourself. You embrace where it is that you want to be and what it is that you desire. So pay attention to what you're focusing on. That's why your words are going to be so important during this equinox. The color that shines through here is red. That's healing and cleansing your root chakra, which helps puts, put all your other chakras into alignment. 
the Ten of Cups. That's at your heart of this reading. The Ten of Cups is blessings coming into your home, prosperity. There is a balancing of the masculine and feminine energy. You are going to feel it intensely during this time because the equinox is all about the balance of the masculine and feminine energy in life. That's how you're moving forward. With the Six of Pentacles, this is taking away chaos. This is saying that you have felt as if you've been giving and giving and giving. You feel out of balance. You feel out of harmony. This equinox is about finding that harmony again, about embracing that harmony as you move forward, as you go after what it is that you desire. This equinox is also about you setting clear limits to people. No, you will not be pulled in different directions because everybody's going to kind of want a piece of you. You have to set down limits. You have to set down guidelines as you move forward, as you embrace what you want, as you embrace what you need. Okay. The repeat of the number 10, I mean, you have the number 10 four times here. This is just a completion of a cycle, and this is a sense of balance and harmony. You have the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune is, of course, the tenth card in the Major Arcana. The Wheel of Fortune is going to is saying that this is going to be kind of a wild and crazy ride, or for a lot of you Torians, this year has been a wild and crazy ride. And as I said in my meditations, I found, for me personally, and for so many that I have worked with, the Ten of Swords has really epitomized 2019. It has been a time of great change coming into our lives, but it's also been a time of great knowledge, great, I want to say soothsaying, but that's, that's not quite it, but that's what Spirit is saying. It's as if you are seeing greater truths and you are finding that the chains that once bound you to what was expected are starting to fall away. You are breaking this cage and you are breaking this cage to embrace your utter freedom, Taurus. And that's what this equinox is going to give to you. It's a, it's a time of passion. It's a time of balance and it's a time of freedom for you. It really is where you charge forward and you say enough is really quite enough. Make sure you think about things before you, you act because you're going to sit there and just kind of want to act so intently that that you might not find your footing completely. You might stumble a little bit. So make sure you use your stabilizing earth energy. That's why you're coming through as a knight to kind of balance the knight of swords. But you might also have an air sign energy in your life at this time that propels you to move forward. If you have an air sign, especially in your moon or your rising, see it a lot in people's rising here, you are going to have the sense of action, of wanting to move forward, of wanting to go after your desires. Make sure you think it through before you charge. Because here we have the Ten of Wands. You've been carrying a lot of burdens on your shoulders, a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, a lot of what you want and where it is that you want to be. As you move forward, you look at the bigger picture and you're putting down the burdens that have been bowing you down, that have been weighing you down, that have been having you question yourself. And you're going to actually kind of create a barn fire with them. That's what spirit is showing me. It's you're setting your passions on fire. You are embracing your creativity. And oh, that's funny. From that ash, you make you make chalk. You, well, not, it's not chalk, but you make ink or paint or it's, it's something like that. You make a substance to create pigment to what it is that you want in life, to kind of draw out your plans, to move things forward. Right? That's what I'm seeing here. I know it might sound funny, but you are looking at every single passion that you have carried with you and you are melting them together. You are burning all the, all the wands together and you are taking that ash and you are making something glorious out of it. You are using it to kind of write on the walls of your life right? and to leave a message behind. You are moving forward with the Knight of Pentacles. This is you in the Minor Arcana, slowly and steadily obtaining your goals. Now, you might get a bit frustrated, but Taurus, you are the slow and steady type of person. You look at things and you look at the bigger picture of it all. So here, you are definitely looking at the bigger picture and you are seeing the methodical way that you move forward. You are going to utilize this beautiful Jupiter and Scorpio energy that's amplifying the fall equinox, well, that's amplifying the equinox, be it fall or spring, for you to move forward, for you to get to where it is that you want to be. So you're really harnessing this power at this time. And you're not going to be upset that you're not moving forward more quickly. Yes, there might be a sense of frustration here, but it's not a sense of, you know, anger or disappointment because you're really going to find this a time of you embracing what you love and letting love into your heart. That's really going to help you 
that's really going to help you embrace your goals because we are emotional beings. And no matter who you are, if you are human, you are an emotional being. And I believe very much so if you exist on this earthly plane, you are an emotional being. And you are harnessing your emotions to move you forward in a steady greatness and in a steady grace. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Right? The Queen of Wands, Air Sign Energy, Ge not uh, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then the King of Cups is a Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. What I see here, well, this is very much the Jupiter in Scorpio shining through. Scorpio will be shining through during this time. You are going to find that you like your quiet. You like your quiet during the equinox. That's what I'm seeing here. You're also going to be very affected by the emotions of other people. So even though you have a lot of people around you, be very aware of how they are emotionally influencing you. You are a king. Your emotions are being seen. You are being seen yourself. Okay, you're claiming the stage and you're claiming your power. You're the actor upon the stage with the queen of wands. When it comes to your passion, when it comes to your creativity, you are going to be the director behind the scenes. You are going to be the one kind of orchestrating things. And you're going to see that your passion is better served behind the scenes during this time. You're going to be looking at bigger pictures. You're going to be using this time to really plan things out, to work things out and see things more deeply as you embrace what you love. You need balance as you move forward. If you lack the six, if you, okay. So what I'm seeing here is the equinox is all about the Libra sun. It is all about balance and that is amplified by again, Jupiter in Scorpio. So what I'm seeing here is that if you stay out of balance in this time, it is going to make you feel out of harmony with yourself. It's going to be like playing a instrument that is terribly out of tune. It's just going to be, or a screeching of nails on a chalkboard. That's a better example. And it's just going to greed on your nerves. So embracing balance, embracing harmony, embracing the energy of this equinox, where it is the balance of the masculine and feminine energy guiding you forward, the balance of day and night guiding you forward. You need that to heal this imbalance that you have been feeling. So this is going to be a time, it's not going, it, it is a time of great action for you because you're going to see that it propels you forward in a very passionate, very real way. But it is also going to be a time of great introspection, of great transformation, of great peace. So that is what you're going to have to really, really embrace just a sense of peace, a sense of harmony. Because you have God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you this gift of healing, beautiful love, which you absolutely take with the knight, not the knight, with the king of cups. And that king of cups, this love embraces your whole essence, moves you forward, comes into your home, graces you. You absolutely take it. You take it as a king, as somebody who is seen the actor upon the stage. Your heart shines bright. And that's why you come through as the knight of, of pentacles, the defender, the, the mover, the one who, who goes after what you desire and isn't just stuck to one place. You are the one who, who makes things happen. That's what love is doing for you. It is making things happen in your life that you might have given up on. For a lot of you Torians, it has been something where you thought, oh my gosh, I can't possibly move forward this way. And you're going to find that you can because love graces you and it empowers you. It makes you cut through doubts and fears, knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want. You charge forward. Make sure you think through before you charge forward because you are going to be the white knight of your story. And what you're charging forward from is doubts, fears, feeling caged, and feeling out of balance. Balance is what this equinox gives you and it gives you a sense of determination and a profound blessing of grace your subconscious message is the three of cups this is someone you thought you could trust who you just can't subconsciously you're going to be wondering is this going to be another time of heartbreak of pain of disappointment i'm going to tell you it's not this is a healing that you have that you have to embrace and this is a sense here of knowing that you are wiser and knowing that you are more stable than ever before. Even if your finances are a mess, even if you feel emotionally a bit raw, what this equinox gives to you is balance. And what this equinox is going to also give to you is a sense of knowing who you can trust and who you can't trust because you are absolutely 
listening to your soul yourself and that inner guidance that you might have kind of put to the side in order to be what the world had expected you to be and in order to do what the world expects. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may you absolutely enjoy the equinox. Bye.